Excuse me for not wearing a shirt, but uh, you have to understand that it is very warm right now and we want the quality of the video to be as high as possible. So, um, skin health, what do you need to know? Well, what you need to know is that uh, skin health is dictated by the health of your digestive system. And let us establish a, an important connection um, for you. So, the skin around your mouth is connected to the rest of your skin on your body, right? It is, it's connected to the skin on your little toe. Pretty logical. You can follow it with your finger if you don't understand what I mean. Um, the inside of your mouth is connected to the skin on the outside of your mouth, right? And the inside of your mouth is connected to the esophagus, which is connected to the stomach, which is connected to... Uh, the small intestine, which is connected to the large intestine. And if you follow the large intestine to the end, you get to your visible skin again. So, uh, your digestive system and the skin, the visible skin on your body is just one large surface area that is connected. Not only physically, but also scientifically. And the reason I say scientifically is because people with acne or rosacea are 10 times more likely to have SIBO, which is, uh, I mean, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, which causes, uh, in the end, leaky gut, of course. And that's the point I want to bring up, leaky gut. So you have mucus lining your intestines um, to protect them and to protect uh, you from absorbing stuff that you shouldn't absorb, so undigested food particles. Now, if you have SIBO or digestive problems, or if you've broken down um, your intestines by consuming things like gluten when you shouldn't consume gluten, you'll break this mucus uh, layer down, and you're gonna start, you're gonna, I mean, get small cracks in your intestines, so to speak, and then things will start seeping through to your bloodstream. And I mean, imagine... Uh, what your body says when it sees undigested food particles in the blood. It goes crazy. And your inflammation skyrockets. And inflammation is the base of all disease known to man. So of course you'll get skin disease if your inflammation is high. Not only that, there are many mechanisms related to leaky gut that also um, cause skin disease indirectly. And one of them is food intolerances. So imagine, uh, well, if undigested food particles enter the bloodstream and your body deals with it uh, very reactively, next time you eat that certain food, your body's going to recognize it and say, okay, no, we don't want that because last time we saw it in the blood and it was bad and so on and so on. So you'll get inflammation just by eating that food. And some people get into a very negative cycle where all the foods they eat, um, well, they become intolerant to them, and then in the end, they're just eating muscle meat, which is not good at all. You should, uh, the goal isn't to just uh, go on a carnivore diet and call yourself healthy, the goal is to heal your digestive system if the problem is in your digestive system. So, now. Those are some mechanisms. The last mechanism is, um, well, just something to be aware of is that people who are depressed usually have, I mean, a higher risk of having digestive issues. I would personally say that any depressed person or most depressed people have digestive system issues. And that is a statement, a quite a bold statement to say, but if you look at the science, you'll, you'll understand why. And if you don't believe me, I mean, this is not really related to, of course, it is related to skin health, because if you're depressed and you have acne, um, you might um, want, you might, uh, you may want to look at um, your digestive system. I can personally tell you that, um, just as an anecdote to add to the video, that when I uh, fixed my digestive system, which I base on uh, curing my acne, I, my anxiety or my mild anxiety was completely gone or is completely gone. Grammar. So that's just something to consider. And then the second point of the video is that 
Well, something that most people don't realize is that you're the only one that can induce stomach pain. If you get diarrhea or constipation or stomach pain or in the end IBS if you keep getting bloated and destroying your digestive system, you're the only one to blame. You're the only one who can induce stomach pain. I mean, unless you're being force-fed, which would be unfortunate, or if you're consuming something which contains some type of toxin and you're not aware that you're consuming the toxin, uh, let, let's say you buy fish um, for omega-3 and then this fish was contaminated and you didn't know, well then you might destroy your intestines without even knowing. Um, so that's just an example. Now another thing, an interesting thing to note, um, one thing I learned by having acne or skin problems was uh, that there's something called the cancer slash autoimmune trade-off where the more reactive your immune system is in general um, the higher risk you have the higher the risk of developing autoimmune diseases and the lower your risk of uh, cancer contrary to if you have uh, a very non-reactive immune system so to speak your risk of cancer goes up but your risk of uh, getting an autoimmune disease goes down significantly so if you have a well that this explains why some people can eat stuff and not or, or have perfect skin as society likes to call it and some people eat just one french fry which i would never advise you do but um, some people get acne from just eating that and i'm one of those people not that i eat french fries I'm very extremist with my diet, but oh well. That's uh, that's a topic for another video. Extremism. Which uh, some of you know uh, me for. Well, so, what I understood or what I learned from having this reactive immune system was that it was a gift. When I eliminated everything and then went back to adding in foods, I could easily tell if something was bad just by looking at my face. And if you have eczema or rosacea or any skin problem, you probably have a reactive immune system and that is the absolute best thing to observe when you're changing your diet to cure a certain thing. Of course, first you need to eliminate everything so your digestive system can heal. Um, I would recommend going on a, on a carnivore diet because it's the best. Carnivore or paleo usually works for people. Paleo if you're very um, sensitive to not eating vegetables, but some people shouldn't eat vegetables. That's a fact. Now, that's one thing. Now, two things to note. or th There are many things to note, uh, but something is that um, to heal your digestive system, you, of course, need collagen and glutamine and some other stuff, but mainly collagen to build your intestinal wall and, you know, heal everything over there by cell regeneration. And uh, you either consume collagen through bone broth and so on, or you uh, induce your body to create more collagen if it isn't creating enough collagen. And uh, vitamin C plays a very vital role in this process, hence why you should consume vitamin C when you're trying to heal your digestive system, or, I mean, healing your digestive system and healing skin disease is basically the same thing. When you heal your gut, you'll heal your skin. That's how it works. If you have acne, you need to look at your digestive system. That's how um, thousands of people have healed themselves from skin disease. And for the love of God, I'll just throw this in there. Don't take antibiotics unless it's an emergency. If you take antibiotics for acne, you'll, I mean, you'll, you'll get acne again after a few, I mean, after a year or six months or whatever, because you haven't addressed the main issue. And as you're now, you, now through watching this video, you know why you haven't addressed the issue. And as for vitamin C, you want to get it from natural foods because, I mean, vitamin C supplements come from coal tar and you don't want to consume some 
weird molecule that looks um, like vitamin C that comes from coal tar. So I would recommend just buying organic lemons because they're pretty cheap, at least here in Sweden, and just uh, consuming them in some way, primarily through lemon water. That's what I do. Now the last thing is um, addressing nutrient density because, well, let's say you get a cut on your finger and you're just a person who eats normal food as society likes to call it. You go to McDonald's once a week and so on, or maybe twice a week, I don't know. Um, and then suddenly, I mean, it bleeds for a few minutes and then, or maybe two minutes, depending on what you do with it. Uh, and then after a few weeks, it's uh, the blemish is gone. Maybe you can see some hints of a scar and so on. Now imagine uh, eating a very nutrient-dense diet. How do you think celery generation will occur in the same situation? I mean, you'll stop bleeding in a very short time and then the scar will heal or everything will heal much, much faster. And the same goes for your intestines. If uh, they're in a bad condition, you of course need a bunch of nutrients so you can synthesize building blocks so you can rebuild your intestines or so your body can rebuild your intestines because it's basically a skyscraper with I mean imagine a bunch of destroyed rooms everywhere and you've got builders with nothing to build with so you want to give them building materials um, and a way of I mean enough workmen to carry out all the bad stuff and then, oh, you, you know, you know what the analogy is trying to say. Um, a thing to note about nutrients when it comes to acne specifically is to consume a bunch of vitamin A. I touched upon this in the um, video prior to the previous video, but um, the reason um, Accutane works is because it's synthetic vitamin A. It kind of mimics vitamin A, but... Uh, it's different, so it creates toxicity. So what you want to do instead is eat vitamin A from natural sources, and that will primarily be through liver. So if you eat liver, you'll basically get the benefits of acne medicine, if there are any benefits. Uh -huh. Maybe your face will look good for six months, but then you the acne will come back. So if you want to take acne medicine without getting any side effects, eat liver. Because, I mean, you're not only getting synthetic, uh, you're not only getting vitamin A and curing acne, you're getting every nutrient in existence, except uh, a high amount of DHA, which is present in fish, of course. DHA is a form of omega-3. Well, the only form I would advise you eat. If, I mean, there are a lot of things I skipped through in this video just to keep it short and simple. If you have intelligent advanced questions or even simple questions or you have um, information that contradicts the things that I have said in this video, uh, leave a comment down below and I'll reply or answer your question and so on and so on. Over and out for now.